In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite way to completely glitch out the match defense out of the empty bunch wide in Madden 21. What is going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies on the channel. What's going on guys? As I said, we are talking about the gun empty bunch wide. This can be found in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook. Really quick before we dive into the video, I do want to let you know that I actually released this entire scheme for free in my text message membership. So if you want to get the full one hour um, offensive guide version of the gun empty bunch wide, then all you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 and you'll get it completely for free. And it's also a way that you can get all of my text message membership schemes. I have over 20 offenses and defenses that I've released in Madden 21, including things like Gun Bunch, Big Nickel Over G, 335 Wide, um, as well as some other stuff like the Empty Bunch Wide. So if you want to get all that content, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Also, if you want to sign up for Madden 22, do the same thing. Text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Every single week, we're going to be releasing uh, offenses and defenses to you in that text message membership for completely free of charge. So if you want to get access to that, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. My number's on the screen in every video I do, and it's also in the description. Let's talk about match defense. Z-spot and go is the play where we're going to pick. And it's really honestly very simple. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to streak the R1 receiver. We're going to put the circuit receiver on an out route. And what we're going to do on this backside is really honestly up to you. What I tend to like to do is I actually like to typically um, take this, take this uh, triangle receiver and I'll typically put him on a hitch. And then I'll take square and I'll put him on a post. That's typically what I'll do. If you don't like that, then do curl flat. That's an easy one. Um, another one that you can do if you don't like that is you could do um, curl and drag is another good one. So something simple. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. You could also run the smash concept. So uh, the way this play looked when it came out, we had a corner route. So I could leave just a hitch and run it this way. Okay. Those are all options. But really, I want you just to focus on the right side. We're just going to motion that circuitry route. Snap the ball kind of right as before he sets. And what you'll see is this R1 receiver will completely glitch out match coverage and there's going to be nobody within like 15 yards of him. It's a really easy way to just completely kill match coverage. It really does. There's nothing the defense really can do uh, about it. You're going to beat match coverage every single time. So if you're finding that people are, are trying to solve the fact that you can run great spacing concepts out of this with these routes, then you can hit that. The other thing that I like, and this is something that you honestly really want to know, is what you might get, depending on the way the defense can defend you, is they might go ahead and just man him up. Um, they might just man up the tight end because they, maybe they know that this is a concept that you like to go to. Well, you run the same route concept, but watch the X receiver. You'll see the X receiver gets open as well against match. So it's not just a tight end. It's also the X receiver, um, which is the slot, which is really, I think, a really powerful uh, concept. So the cool part about this is you'll notice here that if I don't, even if I don't run anyone vertical on the right side, this is still going to work. It's truly a three wide receiver concept. As you'll see here, they still don't come over there. It doesn't matter that those two receivers are on, I could put them both on flat routes. It wouldn't matter. Um, the reason that that's significant is because now what I can do on this backside is run something as simple as a hitch to flat concept real simple um, but real effective why because I have this flood on the right that I'm reading and then that's where their user has to go and then look at that hitch right there that's wide open against match for about 15 yards and check down so if they're really heavily using the bunch side then you can just come back and work these other uh, receivers now I want to spend just a few seconds uh, talking about this as it pertains to two other defenses that you will see a lot of the first one being the Mabel coverage and the second one being uh, man to man man to man and the reason why I just want to run this run through that is so that you realize 
that this play is really good against anything. It doesn't have to be match coverage. And I think that's something that is really uh, a great feature of this bunch wide. What you'll find when you run this offense is there's a lot of really good route combinations that are good against anything. They don't have to be like specifically a cover two beater. Um, they can beat anything. So if we're facing with match or um, cover three, the one adjustment that I would tell you is go ahead and smart route that X. You can do that out of the cover four match but it is better um, if you don't. But anyways, what you'll see is this corner route to the right is gonna be consistently open. Um, it's actually really, really good from the bunch wide. It's a very unique, specific um, placement of that corner route. That corner route is not incompressed like it is uh, from gun bunch. It's actually in the slot position. The reason that's important is because it has outside leverage um, at which it can really get into a, a unique position. The other thing is your first read on this is your out route. If you can hit that out route, just take it for five yards. I find a lot of success just by simply taking that out route because the first thing that people are going to do if you start to, um, I mean, I just guarantee you, this is the first thing that they're going to do, and I'm going to try to imitate this the best I can, but if they're getting you in match um, out of the cover four, one of the things that they're going to do right off the rip if you start to dot them is they're going to re-put that guy in an outside quarter what that's going to do is going to leave that flat open. So you need to be consistently taking that if that is available to you. Now, the other thing about the cover three Mabel is what we can do on the back side of this defense. And that is something that I think is so underrated is these, the placement of these receivers is just, bar, I mean, it's just perfect it's positioning. Um, what I can do on the back side of this is I have that simple hitch flat concept, real simple. And all I'm doing is I'm just checking down to square every single time. As you notice, even though um, it's, it's actually a really unique thing, but even though I have 30 yard flats, 30 yard uh, or um, 10 yard uh, seam flats and 10 yard hook curls, there's nothing over there because again, I've talked about this before, but the idea of a hitch route, when you put a hitch route on the numbers to the short side and you pair that with a flat, it does such a good job of getting open as you can see right there, real simple um, and really honestly very consistent. Now, I want to just kind of prove this point a little bit further because I want to show you what it looks like to have a vertical hook on this backside and then also a seam flat zone. Uh, the vertical hook is the best zone in the game for them to be able to get out there. So what you'll see here is this two-man concept right here. You see the vertical hook will stop at the numbers. That's why I like hitch routes right on the numbers or just outside the numbers. So this is a really good concept against the Mabel coverage. It's also a really, really good concept against man-to-man. -man. Um, the first read on man-to-man -man is always going to be this corner route to the X. And the, you see here, um, it's actually very unique to this, but this X receiver will never get pressed. And that's one of the real values of this formation. Even though they're in press man-to-man, they won't press them. You see here, you get kind of a unique alignment within this and the slot corner is not able to press him because the slot corner is actually over here on the left side. So the, because of that, you see here, he gets a free release. He's never gonna get jammed. As long as he has good route running, he's gonna be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage, sometimes for one play touchdowns, um, if he can get a good rack catch animation. And that's honestly, um, your number one read against man. Your number two read against man, um, you know, really is this is this um, is this hitch route. Now I will say man to man is probably the best chance they have at stopping this, but that corner route is so good against man. The other thing is this hitch. If I low ball pass lead it inside, you see I can just get that secure catch for about five to ten or uh, for about five yards. So then what they're going to start doing is they're going to start going to shade it up man. Shaded up man is not going to work either. Um, you're going to see first and foremost that your corner route to the X is going to beat it even worse. Um, as you can see, it's really smooth uh, on that corner route, really easy to beat man to man. And then the other thing that you're going to have is if they're in shaded up man, then your hitch route on the backside is going to be a lot more open and really just simple to check it down to. Uh, let me show you that one more time. So can I just press and then I shade coverage inside and over top. And what you're gonna see here is a square receiver just pass lead him to the inside. He might get that animation like that. And that's really because uh, Brady doesn't have a uh, gunslinger. But as long as you low ball it, um, it'll never get intercepted. It might get batted down, 
But as you see, very consistent against man. So anyways, that is the empty bunch wide Z spot uh, smash or Z spot and go. Uh, very good play, very good corner out, very, very good uh, match beater. I think it's the best match beater in Madden. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the full five wide uh, offense, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That number's in the description. And if you want to sign up for my Madden 22 text message membership, where we're going to be giving out free offenses and defenses every single week in the Madden 22 season, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.